He had a blood alcohol level of almost two times the legal limit, but today an off-duty Portsmouth police officer was found not guilty of driving drunk. Police say Eric Rogers caused a crash that severely injured a woman, and today that woman says she did not get justice. Penny your size Jason Marks was in the courtroom this morning, and Jason Rogers' attorney argues that his client was not under the influence. And Tom, even though that police on the scene say that Eric Rogers showed no ability of looking like he was drunk on the scene, because for that reason, Rogers' attorney says he should have been found not guilty. It was a severe, severe crash. Portsmouth Misha Williams says her life was changed in the blink of an eye back in September. He was coming down victory and he had no lights on, no nothing. He was just going full speed and just hit me. Williams was severely injured in the crash. It turned out the man behind the wheel of the other car was Eric Rogers, an off-duty Portsmouth police officer. He had a blood alcohol level of 0.13, almost double the legal limit. But today, he was found not guilty of DUI. It's, it's really not fair, and I'm really disgusted. I am really disgusted right now. Rogers' attorney argued that the evidence showed his client passed all the field sobriety tests without showing any signs of being drunk. He told the judge the only reason why his client's BAC was taken was because Portsmouth police didn't want any bias towards one of its own. Anyone else would have been cut loose. Everybody knows that... Uh, alcohol affects bodies differently. So a reading in and of itself, if you just went on a reading, uh, science has also proved that that's false. That's not completely accurate. It's an indicator. The judge agreed and found Rogers not guilty. Are you grateful to have all this behind you? No comment. No comment. What was this like for you? No comment. Williams' car was totaled. She's been out of work for seven months and is still recovering. She feels as if justice wasn't done. I feel like until somebody does something about drinking and driving, people like him gonna always get away. How many more people have to die or get severely injured or literally lose everything for somebody to pay attention to it? So Williams right now is going to talk to her attorney to figure out if she wants to take Rogers to civil court. She's got doctor's bills and other bills that are mounting up. As for Rogers, he was placed on administrative duty as soon as that crash happened in September. We did ask the police department today about his status. We were told no comment. That's the latest here in Portsmouth. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.